Air Force Sergeant Leonard Matlovich received the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart for his service during Vietnam. But in 1975, he was discharged after he told his superiors he was gay. He died more than 20 years ago, and yet he kept fighting for equality of treatment for gay and lesbian and straight troops right to the end. Colonel Tom Field, a Korean War vet, says Matlovich inspired him to come out of the closet after serving 33 years in the U.S. Army Reserve. I am here because I want to honor the courage of Leonard Matlovich, who uh, at a time when I was still very much in the closet and afraid to speak out about who I really was to my fellow officers or indeed to anyone, had the courage to come out and say, I'm, a, I'm gay. Field held the American flag behind Matlovich's grave as part of a special Veterans Day service for an unknown number of gay and lesbian soldiers who gave their lives in combat. You were at Valley Forge in Yorktown, at Gettysburg, Antietam, and Shiloh. Fred Steckler was also discharged by the military for being gay. 14,000 gay and lesbian service members have been discharged since the passage of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He says whether they like it or not, the controversy surrounding Don't Ask, Don't Tell forced the memorial service into a political statement. I'm motivated. Standing here at, uh, at uh, Sergeant Matlovich's grave is a motivator, and I think this is a shot in the arm to be here today. He points to Matlovich's headstone, which reads, When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one. He would be very disappointed that this many years later, we still have that policy. Um, but he, I think, would be very honored the fact that we as a uh, group of organizations are continuing to fight until we actually eliminate the policy. Organizers say they are pushing the Senate to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell before the lame duck session ends and before the newly elected Republican Congress comes to office in January. In the newsroom, Tisha Thompson, Fox 5 News.